Good morning, my Capricorns. It's a brand new week. It's a brand new day. It is Monday, and we're doing your Capricorn. I can't if I could speak today. Uh, I do Capricorns readings typically on Mondays, Taurus on Tuesdays, Virgos on Wednesdays. If you guys haven't um, followed that pattern, I know I kind of sometimes go all over the place on certain signs, but. I typically do do Capricorns on Mondays. Okay, let's get to the point here. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if you are a Capricorn, know a Capricorn. Just feel like being a Capricorn. Well, I'm glad you're here. I really am. We have Harry over here. He's a Capricorn as well. He wants his reading. He wants his reading. He wants to know what's going on. What is going on with you guys? What's the general energy for my Cappies? What's the general energy? I think that's it. That's it. I was shuffling for a while thinking of you guys like the lunatic I am. So let's see. General energy for the Cappies. Deep breath, guys. Deep breath. General energy for my Capricorns. General energy for my Capricorns. That feels good. Ooh, Three of Cups. I like that Cancer energy. Celebration, happiness coming together. Feels long fought and hard won. What's the, what's challenging this Capricorn? What's challenging the three of cups? What's challenging it? Oops. The moon reversed. That's not really challenging. I feel like it goes with it. It's illuminating wh where you need to go, your path. I feel like whatever darkness you've been in on a certain situation, the light has lifted. And now you know what I'm getting with this? Just two cards out and I could be completely wrong when other cards come out. But I feel like the worst is over. I want to say the worst is over. Okay, what's uh, the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it? Why are we all here today? The page of swords reversed. This is also, this, is, this could be two things. This could be your bad news card, which I'm, I don't really totally feel like it is. I don't. I feel like this is coming out of watching, coming out of research mode, and starting to get into a page of wands. This, is, this feels cuspy. This feels borderline. When you're coming out of thoughts, swords are thoughts. Swords are watching, researching. Page of swords upright. He's the sharpest guy in, in the, the toolbox, you know? He's very, very smart. He's a he's a big time researcher. I always feel like he should be like a uh, earth sign because the guy likes to research and you know, you earth signs are all about that. What's the past? What's the past, Capricorn? What's the past? What happened in the past for you guys? Laying the burden down. I like 10 of wands reversed. Didn't I say the worst is over? I like that. Laying the burden down. Ten of Wands reverse. Sagittarius energy. What's on your mind right now? What is on your mind? The Nine of Swords reverse. Gemini. You, you're feeling good. I like this reading so far. Let's keep the momentum going. I don't know what happened in the past, but it's so far in the past, it's not even showing up on the board. That is, that's really good. This is about you. This is about your happiness. This is about celebration. I do. I feel like the worst is over. That should be the title of this reading. Yeah, three of wands reversed and coming into the future. This is you. This is you no longer waiting for something to happen. This is this, when it's like this is waiting for your ships to come in. When it's reversed, it's like it didn't come in. It's not coming in. But I also feel like this is you not standing still and you're moving forward. Yeah, it's weird because wands are fiery and they're passionate and they go, you know, and they go after what they want. And yet the three of wands, it means waiting. The, no wands are waiting. They're workers. You know, like the, you know, this guy, he's so tired carrying it. And this is you still in action mode, laying the burden down. Wands are action. It's, it's just weird that the three of wands is standing still. So I like that you're no longer standing still. You're moving forward. How do you see ourselves right now, Capricorn? How do you see yourselves right now? Oh my gosh, Virgo energy, nine of pentacles. You feel good. That song, I'm coming out. Is that Diana Ross? Guys, you don't want me to sing, but you, you know that song. That's what I feel. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's the energy coming in to influence this? What's the energy coming in to influence this? Full reversed. That's fear. Fool reverse is afraid to do something new, to take a chance, worried about what people think, worried that you can't do it. So we'll see. We'll clarify that one. What's in your emotions right now, Caps? What's in your emotions? 
What's in the Capricorn's promotions? Ace of Swords reversed. Now, in your emotions and swords are thoughts. There is a meaning to this that is not said enough, a very important meaning. Ace of Swords Reverse is when, when you have a new idea, this could even be all about starting a new relationship. And when it's that new, um, it could be, a, it could be this, th to me, even though this is in your emotions, I feel like this is a warning from Tarot, is protected at all costs because it's not strong enough to stand on its own. It's not strong enough to withstand criticism from others, like Three of Cups from others. At least Three of Cups is upright and I feel like you have good people around you at this time. But the Ace of Swords Reverse is protected at all costs. If this is a relationship, um, you might not want to share your intimate details with your best friend be, or with certain family members because they might sit there and tell you any, everything negative about it. And you know what happens when that, you know what happens inside you when that happens, when people do that, you start to doubt. So if this is a new business idea, if you, if you talk about it, it may not get off the ground because somebody could completely break it in half before it has the legs to take off running but I do I feel like that is in your emotions protecting you're deeply protecting something you care about I should have just said that that was a long way to get there wasn't it that's that's who I am I am long-winded what's the outcome Capricorn what's the outcome what's the outcome yeah ace of pentacles reverse there's all kinds of new beginnings this is about delay though Ace of Pentacles reverse. I feel like it's it's happening, a new beginning, but it's delayed probably with this Ace of Swords reverse. We'll see. Like I said, we'll see. We'll clarify. We will clarify. And look at this, another Ace. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This is what's going with deep within you. Maybe you realize it, maybe you don't. Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's very, very patient. A lot of, a lot of Virgo going on here. You're very, very patient. Whatever this is, if this is a job, if this, well, probably is, let's get real Capricorn. You're all about the job and the money. But this is long-term planning, long-term care, long-term. This is a patience card. Whatever you're trying to nurture, you you are in it for the long call. You know it's not going to be like everything's going to fall into your lap overnight, and you're okay with that. Ace of Wands reverse and the King of Wands reverse. I feel like this is something, either this could be people around you, keep holding you back people who want to keep you small so they could keep feeling good this is kind of this is just the this is uh, king of wands reverse is mm, i want to say arrogant but there's a reason why they're like this they're like this because they struggle with their own self-confidence they struggle with their own dreams so therefore they you know they kind of hold you back but yeah i feel like this is you this is you moving forward and the Ten of Pentacles underneath that. Oh my gosh, she keeps going. Okay, let's clarify. Let, so we don't spend 20 minutes just on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let's see. Tell me about this Three of Cups and the Moon Reverse. I love that. The Moon Reverse is, it implies in the past the Moon was upright. You were confused. You were in the dark, possibly depressed. Something wasn't coming together. But now in the center of the reading, Capricorn, in the center of you, we have a lot of happiness because it's now illuminated where, where you need to be, who you need to be with, what you need to be doing. And it's like you finally, I do feel like the worst is over. And maybe with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed, maybe it's just freshly over. So you're kind of, you got the remnants of that hard fight and you're kind of like in protective on guard mode. Like, are they coming back? You know, is it, can I really, do I really have the green light to have this go? If this is a relationship, is this really the one? Is this, you know, is this person going to bail on me tomorrow? But I feel like if it's a relationship, it's, it's solid. Okay. Three of cups and the moon reverse for Capricorn. What's that about? Three of cups and the moon reversed. Yeah. I think that's the title of this. The worst is over because that's what I'm getting strongly. You know, in tarot land, especially in my tarot readings, it seems like it's rare to have such a good reading. So let's embrace this, guys. Let's embrace this. Three of Cups and the Moon Reverse for Capricorn. Three of Cups and the Moon Reverse for Capricorn. What's this about? Yep, the worst is over. Wheel of Fortune upright. Major Arcana. And it, ironically, what came out, it's Wheel of Fortune is, well, it's number 10. I, I In my head, I was thinking the world, which is the last. But I feel like you went through a lot of challenges. You went through a lot of challenges to get you into this new cycle. 
you it, like I said, I do feel like this is a hard fought battle. If this is about breaking away from your family, this is about you getting yourself back, your self confidence back, putting you on the right path. You know what I'm also getting for some of you is fighting addictions, getting over addictions, getting over even toxic relationships, finally putting it to bed, finally putting it to bed. Some of you, that's happiness enough. It doesn't mean you're necessarily into a new relationship, but you're just, this is like three parts of yourself all finally aligned. And you finally found your happiness after, in the nine of swords reversed, you're sleeping all night. Maybe some of you, if this is, this is about finally getting over a past relationship, you I mean, if you've ever been stressed, and I feel like everybody in on, on earth has hit a level where we've been so down, we feel like we're never going to get out of it. We're so entrenched in a tunnel. Well, we feel like that light is never going to be, we're never going to see the light again. This is, the light is here. And so some of you are almost afraid to go into the light because you've been in the darkness for so long. And so that's why this delay, this new beginnings delay, because it's kind of like, you know, if you've been underground for 10 years and you start to go out and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how, I don't know what, I don't know how to handle happiness because you're, you've been fighting so many battles for so long. You don't know what good feels like. So you just need a moment. But yeah, this is, this is what a new cycle. And I feel like if you've had money problems, I, I feel like your luck is changing in a very good way because we have two aces. Yes, they're reverse, but it's not a bad thing. It's, this is delay. This is delayed because of your thoughts. Ace of Swords is thoughts or something you're still protecting. You're probably protecting you. And this new beginning, if this is a relationship, maybe you, I feel like it would be way in the past. I feel like maybe you had a really tough relationship and it took a toll on you and there's something really, really good on your in your lap and you're just a little hesitant with the full reversed. It doesn't mean you're gonna like say no, but you're just hesitant because you're you're waiting for something to fall apart that's not going to fall apart. Gem, Gem, I was going to say Gemini. That's weird. Capricorn. It's not going to fall apart. What's the Page of Swords reversed? The reason for the reading. Tell me about the Page of Swords reversed. The reason for the reading for Capricorn. What's the Page of Swords reversed? And the Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, this is you in protective mode. This is you hiding. Queen of Wands reversed. And for some of you, some of you, this is this is. I mean, when you get these two cards, come on, you know what page of swords reverse and a queen of wands reverse. This is somebody did something to you in the past that caused all this, that caused all this hesitation, that caused this self-doubt and this lack of self-confidence. Even though I feel like this isn't them, I feel like this is something really, really, really new. But whoever did you really wrong, probably cheated on you, probably broke your heart in a thousand pieces, a million pieces. This, the reason for the reading, the reason why, you know, you're on that precipice of something great, but you're not fully jumping off it yet with the full reverse is because of this reason for the reading. Queen of Wands reversed, Page of Swords reversed. Probably dealt with somebody that was very, very selfish. It could be a lover, could be a family member, it could be a coworker, it could be a boss. This could be about money. This could be about going for a new job, but you, you were, whoever I'm reading for, you were in something that was highly toxic, that took a toll out of you emotionally, and it took you a while to heal from. And now we have Capricorn ready to do something new. Somebody wants to do something new with you, or this could just be all about a new job and you really, really want it. You, you feel really good when you think about it, when you're in that energy, you feel really positive, but it's just, you're worried. It, it's just like you're waiting for something to fall apart. That's not. Tell me about the 10 of ones reversed in the past. What's the Ten of Wands reversed in the past? Yeah, you were stuck. But this is what you laid down. Ten of Wands, there was no victory to be had. Because I think even when this is upright, this is this is a fast moving energy and it could be a bit crazy, out of control when it's reversed. I feel like whatever this was, was really out of control. And it was a lot of burden. It was out of control and it was a burden on you. But look, in the past, we laid it down and we stopped that train and you got off that crazy train. I want to say that. I feel like you got off the crazy train. That could be another good title. Okay. Tell me about the nine of swords reversed on your mind. What's the nine of swords reversed on Capricorn's mind? Nine of swords reversed on Capricorn's mind. Ten of cups. Cause you're, yeah, I feel like this is something new. I think for many of you that I'm reading for, this is a new love relationship and it, you have a lot of hope. Pisces energy, you have a lot, a lot of hope for this. 
you're just a bit in your head and it's okay. It's okay, Caps. What's this three of wands reversed and then coming in? And I do feel like if this is someone you're dealing with, I just want to say, I want to put this out there. You're dealing with somebody who's very patient and giving you the space you need. I feel that whoever you're with is very loving, very strong, strong. Found, they have a strong foundation because they're giving you the space you need to make your own decision to move forward. They're giving you the space you need to really, you know, to see, to, you know, to see them for who they are, that they're not going to run away. I feel like if whoever I'm reading for, if this is a relationship, this person is, I almost feel like maybe you're testing them. I want to say you might be testing them to see if, if they're going to, you know, you know, like if they're going to blow up, be a king. I'm thinking, I think in tarot. So I'm thinking King of Swords reverse or Page of Swords reverse. Page of Swords reverse is a very bratty energy, a very mouthy energy. So it's maybe some of you even tested this new person to see, you know, if, if I say I'm going to go out with my friends, three of cups is, is what is this person going to do? And they pass your test every single time. And it's, it's kind of like, they're just smiling, like, yep. You know, like they, they just know that you need this. And they're giving you that time and space. Uh, this is a great reading. This is very positive. Tell me about the three of wands reversed and coming in the near future. What's this three of wands reversed? I do feel like this is you though. Yep. King, I said the king of swords, <laughs> but at least I said he was reversed Aquarius energy. I feel like this is you testing the person. <laughs> This is, this is you testing somebody's boundaries, King of Swords. You're testing a King of Swords' boundaries. A, a king, but I, I don't know. I feel both, to be honest. This, the, I, this could be them. This could be you um, with the Three of Wands, you coming out because it's like you tested them enough and they passed it. And you're like, yeah, they're a King Upright. They're not a Page of Swords reversed. You tested them and realized they're, they're king. They're, I, I felt this. I felt that. Male or female. You could, men watching, you could be dealing with a new relationship, a woman, and she's king energy. You know, and therefore you feel confident. You feel safe. I want to say you feel safe. You are safe, Capricorn. This is safe. I want to keep saying that. You're safe. What's nine of pentacles? How you see yourself. What's the nine of pentacles for caps? What's the nine of pentacles? And the Knight of Swords reversed. Gemini energy. A lot of Gemini here. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Have it in your chart. Give me another card on the Knight of Swords reversed. This is stuck thinking. And some of you Capricorns could have been single for quite a while. And the High Priestess. I'm talking about single. There she is. There's our single lady in waiting. The High Priestess. Very quiet. Keep into yourself. Knight of Swords reversed. I feel like they're... It, whatever past relationship, like I said, I don't, I feel like it's, it's really far in the past. I, I don't feel like it's like happened last week or anything like that. And I feel like you've been silent. You've been to yourself, probably working hard, look, working on yourself, but nine of swords reverse is somebody who's, it's just, it could be stuck, but I almost feel like hard to change your mind. Knight of Swords reverse and the High Priestess. It's like you've been so entrenched internally. You've been deep in your own intuition. You're in, you're, you've been very, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just single. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. You've been doing your thing. For some of you out there, this could just be you being single for a long time and somebody's now in your environment that makes you really, really happy. And it's just like, ooh, do I want to invest with them? Am I going to lose something? Am I going to lose my independence? Or are they going to run on me? And, you know, but the high priestess is also higher knowing. You, you, I mean, and I feel like maybe you've been stuck moving forward with this. But yeah, I do. On these two cards, really, I just feel like I'm, I could, this could be somebody who's just been single for a long time single for a very long time doing your own thing you're a nine of pentacles working on your own money working on you focusing on your, if you have kids your family but not really you know the relationship is like i've been there done there got the t-shirt i'm fine being on my own and then boom here comes somebody now if this hasn't happened yet and if this if you are a very single capricorn get ready this that i mean you guys know how energy works this could be your story today this could be your story next week this could be your story in six months could be your story next year just because it isn't happening doesn't mean it can't happen. Tell me about the full reversed coming in. What's the full reverse coming in for Capricorns? What's the full reversed here? Yeah, the Knight of Cups reversed. 
this is why yeah not a full reverse the knight of cups you're afraid to give to something that is not going to this is like a mirage card this is your inappropriate lover card knight of cups reverse this is somebody who walk who talks the talk but can't walk the walk who never shows up this is a person who's who offers you know a diamond ring and uh four of wands and a wedding one day and then you find out that they have like 10 other people on the side not a cups reverse this is a player this is a this is a fake it's just your inappropriate lover card full reverse and i'm not saying this person is this is this is the energy coming in is you is you should i take that chance the three of wands reverse should i should i go should i stay or should i go should i jump into this or should i pull back this is this is your internal thinking this is what you're worried about that they're a knight of cups reverse because they're too good the knight of cups reverse is too good to be true it's literally too good to be true you are afraid because this is all about fear that somebody's too good to be true and i i feel like they're really good i'm not i really feel like whoever you're dealing with is a king of swords they're they're solid it could be quite king of swords can be a bit boring but they're solid they're, they're loyal. They're honest. What's the Ace of Swords reversed in your emotions? What's the Ace of Swords reversed in Capricorn's emotions? And the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're worried about investing in this. You're worried about... I. Some of you could even be worried about other what other people think because it's Ace of Swords reversed. It's thoughts. Both, both cards are thoughts. But you're worried about you're worried that you're going to get hurt. You're worried what people are going to think if this person ends up being a Knight of Cups reverse. You know, it's just like, oh, here goes Capricorn. You know, it happened to them again. And you've probably been a Nine of Pentacles for some time. And it's kind of like, I'm good on my own. Do I want to take a chance of getting, doing something even great or getting worse? I just feel like you're on the fence on this. What's the Ace of Pentacles reverse in the outcome? I feel like I got a shuffle. Bear with me, kids. Bear with me. What's the Ace of Pentacles reverse for Capricorn? What's the Ace of Pentacles reverse for Caps in the outcome? What's this Ace of Pentacles reversed? My nose is itching. So, no longer confused. I feel like you. it's been delayed because you've been confused. That's obvious in this reading. Seven of Cups reverse. No longer being confused in your emotions. I want to say that. You're seeing this person, I think, clearly. I think you've been testing them. I do feel like you've been testing them. I don't, I feel like they know you've been testing them. If they don't, if you think they don't know, they do know. They know. High Priestess knows. Funny that I said that. The High Priestess knows. They know. Ah. Okay. What's this new beginning being delayed? Caps, you're holding it up. What's the Ace of Pentacles reversed? And the outcome. Nine of Swords, because you're stressed in your head. But ironically, look at this. And in a perfect tarot, you know, like, what do you call it, spread, this would be next to this. Nine, on your mind is the Nine of Swords reversed and the Ten of Cups. Lots of happiness. You want, you want to invest with this person. Outcome is Ace of Pentacles reversed and the Nine of Swords upright, because you're just afraid they're going to be a player. You are afraid. And I feel like I can't get off the storyline that you are afraid what other people think even, which is so unlike Capricorn. You're afraid if somebody plays you again, are people going to laugh at you? What are people going to think? What are your friends going to say? So you're you're holding it up. You just don't know what to do with this, with this situation. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, build. Is this person a player or is this someone I can build with? This is the question. You know... It's just like tarot is advice. That's what this is. It's advice. My advice is this is a solid person. I feel like this is a solid person here. I'm not seeing a player. I'm not feeling a player. And but you're you're worried about investing. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Capricorns, I feel like now energy, this could be someone you're dealing with doing this to you. You know how energy works. This could be somebody doing it to you or you doing it to somebody. And I feel like you're holding this up, but I do feel like whoever you're with is very patient. They're giving you that time and that that all the time you need to figure figure them out and strength. They're strong. I feel like this is them. They're very strong. Leo energy. Very, very strong. You're with a good person. You've probably been with some shitty people in the past. I'm not going to lie, but I feel like this is a good person. 
Yeah, Six of Wands. He's waiting for his victory. More Leo. Or maybe you could be hooked up with a Leo. Six of Wands is victory. There's this. This is a good outcome. Look at the sun. Oh, this is what's coming. The true outcome. Ace of Pentacles and Sun. I think you're going to go for it. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay, Caps. Well, I love this reading. It was highly positive. It's very cute. And I hope, I, I really hope whoever I'm reading for, you give your, give, do yourself a favor and take a chance on this person. Because the Capricorns I'm reading for, you probably went through some stuff in the past. Maybe you've been single, but I think this would bring you a lot of happiness. And you know, Capricorns, all you Capricorns watching it, everybody watching it, even if you're not a Capricorn, you all deserve happiness. So, Okay, that's what I have for you this week. I will see you next week. Have a good week, guys. Take care.